Howdy folks, Scruck the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode server. And uh, Middle Claw is there behind me because uh, he invited me to come take a look at his base. And uh, so we're going to do that. And since I can fly, it makes life so much easier. So um, Middle Claw can say howdy. Howdy and everybody. There you go. Uh, so your base is south of here. That's correct. Uh, I don't believe it because I don't see anything at all. Well, if you, if you step forward and find out. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're out of render distance. So let's go fly on over and see how fast it renders in. There we go. I think you've been doing the most modern industrial sort of base on the server. Everybody else, I, I'm doing wood and stone. That's that's my standard uh, beginning uh, build. But I like this. Well, the idea is the idea is for uh, science fiction, mm -hmm. more space age. Oh yeah, and so I don't think modern I don't think modern materials can actually handle all this weight. No, I, it probably wouldn't. But uh, lots and lots of uh, carpenter's blocks on here, uh, nether brick there. Yep, lots of good looking stuff here. And I, I love the little design work on the, the side that's here on the centerpiece that's, you know, holding up the, the top platform. Uh, I, I do like that little. Well the, well, the main structure of the base is complete, but I still need to do work on the details and everything else. Yeah. But, you know, I'm loving the color scheme. Um, you were you were constantly saying that you needed uh, quarried stone. And, and uh, now I can see why, because they've got... Oh, no, this is raw marble. I thought you were doing yeah. the, the quarried stone. You'll see the quarried stone soon. Ah, okay. Uh, what you need is a light underneath there. There, now you have a light underneath there. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I'm still working on the details. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. There, we'll uh, remove that light. Uh, anyway, so um, how do you get inside your base? At the moment, it's just through the windows. Oh, okay. Pick any window. <laughs> I'll pick this wood. All right. So, yeah. So, this, yeah this is... the basically, the entire base is empty at the moment, except for ground floor. All righty. Well, uh, lead on. Do you want to go up and look around and then go down to the basement or ground floor? Or do you want to we can start, go first? We can start at the top. All right. And uh, kudos for using multiple layer uh, elevators. Yeah, uh, considering, oh, it, there we go. considering it's over 40 blocks to the lower floor. Yeah, but uh, what I mean is, is having four elevators because... I, I'm cheap and I'm using just one and so that I've got to center myself just right and there's many times I haven't and so yeah it's a problem but uh, so what what are you planning on doing for for the the very tip top here mainly just an observation floor kind of a residential area mm -hmm. uh, easy access with the, the the windows <laughs> yeah <laughs> I need about I worked out I need about 16 stacks of mana glass just for the windows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've I've used mana glass, although if you use the micro blocks, you can get eight uh, panes out of each, but you don't get the continued texture. There, There's little no. seams, so. Yeah, that's to me, that's what I was off-putting. Yeah, so I, I was okay with the seams. I said, that's nah, not a problem. All right, I'm going down. And one more. So another little sub basement room up oh, further down. Oh, I think I found uh, a room with stuff. That's, if you're on the ground floor, there's a dirt. Yeah. So, well, you've got the the deep storage unit. So this has got to be where your your mining is is uh, feeding in. Uh, so I'm one level up. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I not take a look at the the deep storage units uh those are the, like the the two billion storage yep yeah. i used to use when i used to use resident caches mm -hmm. now when the stone kept, well, kept on plugging up because of the stone yeah uh, that's why i really like the the storage drawers with the void upgrades for for yeah. stuff like stone is slap a bunch of emerald upgrades and a void and then let it just run 
because I don't need that much stone. I can make more. <laughs> so cool. All right, uh, let's go down one more because I, I oh, didn't but, see oh, that. Oh, oh. If, there's uh, something I wanted to show you here. Oh, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Up here, I'm planning actually to put my mob spawners. Ah, and then they a just separate area, a, a, a separate area for each mob spawn. Oh, so not a a central shaft and just let them fall. Yeah, no, I don't want to stuff. over. I don't want to overload the systems. Yeah, yeah. Well, as long as you can turn them on and off individually, That's the uh, you should idea. be fine. Yeah. Yep, yep. Always good to have a good backup. Yeah. But as I said, most first thing we're we'll putting in is witches. I'm severely lacking glowstone. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Glowstone is nice. Oh, this is much nicer down here in the basement or ground floor. Yep. And I can tell it's the ground floor because that's the ground. It's got dirt. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, you you've already got the a lot of the stuff here for Emmy. Uh what is it that you're missing that it's not powered up or it's just not powered up? It's just not powered up. <clears throat> Because that's way more advanced than I've gone. Um, I, I've pushed for the flight, and I said that's what I really, really want, and I ignored everything else just so I could get flight. <laughs> well, I rushed, I rushed to get what get my kind of flight at the moment. Yeah. Yep. Then everything. And, then it's just been concentrating on building. Yeah, and you, you've got the biggest building uh, on the server, which is which is totally makes sense. Uh, and then. Kind of like I've been doing, just randomly stacking machines in various places. Yeah, it's def definitely the way I do it. So yeah. Well, you... thanks to thanks to Asha, I've been able able to get a little bit of a progress. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I see you got ready to do the uh, UU matter bits there. I've already been doing UU matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm preparing for that with scrap. But uh, haven't uh, haven't made any of these these blocks that I need to to, to process them, the centrifuge and these three uh, replicators, well, scanner and the pattern scanner storage. Well, I'm planning to supply these recyclers with uh, mob loot. That would also work. Yep, that would work really well. Yeah, the molecular transformer. I remember that from the last run. Uh, it's been a long yeah. time, seven years since I, I made this little guy. So, well, yeah, you I, need it now. You need it now if you want to go into the AE system. Yeah, yeah, it, it is required. Uh, it was the the solar, no, the scenarium, sun, the that glowing piece that you need to add in there. But yeah. AE is is far enough away that I don't care, uh, which is fine. For now, yeah, for now, uh, I'll I'll get there. But uh, I've got the nutrient distillation from the, the, the mob heads, and that's working really well with the Ender IO. Yeah. And it, it works because I've got the crafting plus the access. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So. But I must, I, must, I must warn you if you're going to go into AE. Oh. Every time you want to craft one of these uh, controllers or energy cells, mm -hmm. you've got to keep pushing the, pushing the wrench back into the recipe. Then yeah. The, every time I pop back into your inventory. Yeah. No. I'll. I'll. Yeah. You. You can't like shift click to to make this stuff. Mm. It's. It's okay. Um. I remember the last time we we had a cheaper recipe for the the wrench, and I made one of those just because it was a, a cheap wrench, and then the pack yep. updated to a much much more expensive gating wrench. And so yeah. I, oh. I I had it early, but uh, I, I put it aside and said I wouldn't actually make or use any of the AE2 stuff until I could make it legitly with uh, the new recipe. And uh, so yes. I saw while. that episode. Yeah, that took a while. But uh, yeah, yeah, having the auto crafting would be very, very nice. And I, I do miss that. Well, auto crafting won't work on this. I mean, any recipe that requires a wrench, your auto crafting won't work. <laughs> Sure, but I'm thinking like the the solar panels. I, I would like to get at least one tier one or tier seven solar panel, so it's making like 32k uh, a, a tick, which would be great. But, but here's, that... here's the bonus: you can you can use the uh, 
replicated to make tier one solar panels. Yes, I'm planning on doing that. I tested that uh, in single player, and that none of the 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 subsequent levels you can you can record the pattern for, but the tier one you can. So that's probably the first thing I'm going to push through. I just need thirty two thousand of them <laughs> to get me the tier yeah. seven. <laughs> but fortunately that's... for fortunately for me, I've got the I've got the UU meta for it. Yeah. Uh, I haven't done anything to get me the bedrock Yuma. All that radioactivity stuff, I've avoided that uh, up to this point. But I will get there. Yeah. I yeah. found it. I found a liquid bedrock Yuma drummer to sell to Asher. Mm -hmm. And he gave me, and he gave me some uh, ingots. Yep, that'll do it. Yep. So About I'm six thousand ingots. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to avoid uh, you know trading the 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 game breaking stuff <laughs> just because I'm trying to earn my way through because I'm making videos so yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> the only thing I'm using as for the uh, was use it for magnum torches. Yes, which I got nine of, which I got nine of them at the moment and it still not covers everything. Yeah, with a base your size, having the magnum torches would be super super handy. And uh, mine, I've got everything lit up. But uh, if if the if I were digging deep and I were getting lots of slime spawns, I would definitely buy a, a magnum torch from somebody because that says they're just so annoying. Yeah, and so. then it, here here is my simple AU system. Mm hmm. Yep. No controllers in use at all. Yep. That's. And and it's nice that you don't have to have the controllers in, in use for something fairly simple. Now, does this have a, a hook into... Oh, but I haven't seen any storage drawers in a storage controller. Not, not everything everything is, is in there, is in the... Uh, yeah. Well, is in, is in there. now I know where I need to loot. I'll just look for this and, and help myself. <laughs> I don't have to look for drawers. <laughs> well, you, not much in there, to be honest. <laughs> that's just my nun that's just my nun belt storage yeah but yeah this is the only, and this and these presses are the only automation i have mm -hmm. i do like ender io for being able to automate these presses uh, it's a it's a handy thing to do and i i'm really curious to to see how your place looks when you you finish and and doing the decorating whoops funky uh so that would be really really cool looking plus you've you've got so much tech and magic and stuff that you can branch into and yeah. place all over the place especially when i get put my power systems down under the island yeah that's not a bad idea especially you know the radioactive stuff you know far away from base sounds like a good idea uh, first things first, I need to cross the turtle so I can get clear all this out. <laughs> I was going to be slow doing it manually. Yeah, yeah. Even even with a, a big pick, it uh, still will be slow. Yeah, yeah but uh, but uh, thank you very much for uh, let me take a look at your uh, your base and showing off because it's impressive on the outside. It's just yeah, so good looking. Uh, even at night, uh, seeing the the lights coming out of the windows and everything else dark looks really cool, but. I want to see all the, the detail work you put in. Yeah, I've only managed to finish the structure yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and the yep. detail is going to be starting just now. Yeah, uh, which is fine. I'm uh, I'm not in any rush on the server. I'm just uh, curious to see how people are doing. And uh, got some responses from several people saying that they were they were interested in some in some doing some base tours. So you were the first. Well, I had the, I had the most to show off. <laughs> and thank you you're welcome bye if you remember I was complaining about how I was dragging my feet on making these islands and I, I, I did I finally got down and said I've, I've got to make it because I've got flight now which makes this so much easier so let me spin around and um, looking at this island here I went ahead and, and uh, finished it up uh, plopped it down actually joined it to the ground uh because it was fairly short uh also there yeah it's, you can see it over here there's a, a ravine underneath this spot and there were a bunch of uh, uh open blocks that allowed you to fall in so i filled them up with this so that's what i did uh, let's see do i have night vision on yeah, i do i have night vision on so uh 
I, I kind of like how that ended up looking. Uh, if we go up here and jump down, uh, you can see where I've, I've got the witches in place. I can get rid of the Cursed Earth. I, I really don't need this anymore with these six wit witches here named. Uh, they just stick around. So that works. I should come into here and kind of clean things up because this is kind of ugly looking. But it's, you know, just interior stuff. So I don't care. Uh, I did make this tier five because I needed that for the, the, the guy a bit. Uh, and then, then I also went ahead and said, okay, let's work on this uh, island here. The Thalcraft Island needed a bunch of, of work. It was a big box underneath. So I went ahead and I, I thought about connecting it all the way to the ground, uh, kind of like a, a mesa where it slopes down and then off to the side. However, um, because this is so close, uh, I didn't want to join this to the base. So I went ahead and, and just ended it here. It's still slightly boxy, but I think I did a pretty good job of hiding the, the boxiness. Uh, one thing I did do is I came into here and I did the little half slab uh, micro blocks. I, I like how that gives some visual texture to it. And, and it works. It works. Uh, I also went ahead and made so many more uh, of these candles. Uh, I think it was like three stacks of them and uh, dropped them all around. And then interior wise, I've done nothing to this. Oh, here it is. If I uh, drop down here. Uh, yeah, I've done nothing here. The, the cobble should be stabilizing. All of those should be stabilizing. The, the nether brick and the the end stone and that just plain brick all of that should be stabilizing plus all the flowers and the the uh, candles all of that you know a couple of these crystals uh, they they are all stabilizing i haven't noticed anything as far as instability on here so that seems to have worked out very nicely uh, i haven't built any of the really unstable items but uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, so that's that's what I, I, I did. I, I pushed it off and pushed it off, pushed it off, and then finally said, nope, got to make it. <laughs> so I did. Uh, and then um, there was uh, an ask I got from Torgal. He was saying, hey, I want you to make some bits. And, and here's where there's going to be a little bit of a change up. I was going to do a bunch of this in a different video. But I decided to swap things around. And uh, so it may sound, you may hear a little bit of me like starting the uh, the, the next episode. Because I thought I was going to start off with that. But I'm not. Expert mode server. And I'm by Torgal's area. And he, he commissioned me to do some work. Now he, this is a, let's hit the, the J button. Um. He's got his his base way over here, and he's got some rails of viaduct uh, to connect to this area that's dropping into the ground. And he's done some amazing work here building stuff around here. You can see the, the viaduct behind me uh, here. Let's uh, spin around so you can whoops. You don't need to see my butt, um, but the he's done some some fantastic work, you know, decorating the stuff and, and adding some some uh, dwarf miners. And he was going, uh, he, he didn't like the, the p pillar that he, or pedestal that he put the dwarf on. And he, he also was saying that over here, uh, there's four of these sections where these pillars are that he would like uh, floating islands uh, to hold them up. And knowing how much I love floating islands, he was saying, uh, could you do that for me? And I said, sure, and, and do a, a, a base under this as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, he hired me for an undisclosed sum. And uh, I'm going to spend <laughs> however long it takes to sit there and build something. And I'm going to try some materials possibly different from what I normally do. Just because I'm curious. We'll see how this goes. So here's Torgal's uh, base that he built and he didn't like, and it's it's very strongly anchored to the ground, which I like floating islands, so it doesn't need to be hard. But I decided to, to go with that uh, snow layer that he has there. So I came up with this, uh, decided to go with ice and snow. So we got some packed ice that's he's kind of on with some regular ice around it and then snow around that. And then I just made my typical kind of floating island bit and uh, then I kind of dragged it down and connected it to the ground. So it's technically not a floating island, but it, it's still okay. And uh, 
Torgal was on a little bit earlier and he said he loved it. So I said, cool, that's done. Uh, and then I went over here and uh, set up something uh, a lot more green. So he wanted something kind of broken down. Uh, so I said, OK, let me let me set this up with uh, the grass on top so he can grow whatever sort of trees and veg he wants on here to give it a, a, an overgrown, broken down sort of state. And uh, this is definitely more hanging -y, sort of uh, island sort of setup uh, with this one because it's three bases three pillars that that i need to support the base i ended up kind of thinking of a island here an island in the middle and an island on the set end and so it, it doesn't come down into the typical you know v shape like you know this has more of a v shape uh, this one is like three smaller v's and then I added some other floating bits because, you know, it's Minecraft. You can have floating bits. So uh, he hasn't seen this yet. Uh, next time he's on, uh, I'll have him take a look. And if he likes that, then uh, we'll we'll call it good. Uh, he can sit there and take a schematic of, of these. Uh, I guess he can also do a schematic of this and kind of reverse it over here if he wants. Uh, if he wants something different, he can he can ask. Uh, anyway, so that's that's what I, I did for him because uh, he wanted floating islands. And I said, sure. I can do that. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, a, a bunch of island building and uh, middle claws base, which always looks amazing. He he tends to build really big and he's not disappointing in, in this pack. So just wanted to show that off uh, as as people ask. I may show off some other bases because it's fun to see what other people do. You know, I build my way. Other people build their way and, and it's fun to see what they do. Anyway, <laughs> this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, having a blast uh, doing a little island building and uh, touring of bases, uh, specifically Middle Claws, here on the FTOG Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode server, and having a blast. And we all are. And thanks for watching. Bye.